I'll be reading the live chat. I always read the live chat. Hello, welcome in everyone. This is gonna be, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> this is more than usual. Hello, welcome in everyone. Um, so normally I get to be, I'm able to read every single message, but um, there is 70 plus of you in here today. So I don't think I'll be able to read everyone's message, um, but I'll try to get to as many of you as I can when it happens but hello hello everyone oh i can't even read everyone's name this time <laughs> but hello welcome it everyone um there's gonna be how many are here normally it's usually like like in the 20s 30s sometimes um but it's usually on that on that kind of number so it's like there's 80 here right now so that's kind of crazy um but hello <laughs> you really how to draw wings video really helped me out i'm glad um Oh, uh, the time difference. Oh, I feel that. Um, but it's going to actually be a little bit different today. Um, so thank you to everyone who's popped in for the first time. Um, but today's stream is going to be a little bit different. It's actually going to be an on-cam stream. Um, we're going to be talking about how I learned to draw. It's going to be a story time stream. Um, so we're actually doing this for... We're doing a stream like this for the first time where I'm actually on camera. Hello. Um, so you actually get to see me this time. It's going to be... We're going to start with a lot of my traditional work, because that's what I started with when I was a kid. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a full story time stream, the full two hours. Thank you. <laughs> um, hello. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, thank you. I love my headset, too. It's the, if you want them, like the ears I bought the extra attachment for, but these are the Logitech light speeds. <laughs> no, I'm not just a gremlin drawing Oz. <laughs> Corby in the background? I call them my council. There's 12 of them back there. You can't see them all, but they're all back there. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with my my traditional work. Um, because that's what I started with as a kid. So we're going to go through all of my like traditional artwork and some of my the stuff that I did. Like all the way back to like 2006. Like I mean like old, old. My <laughs> room's messy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, but... Once we switch off to high school, then we'll switch to digital work. So I have a second screen over here, which then we can switch to my desktop and we'll get through over there. Um, but yeah, before we get going, let me just, I have to, it's always a thing that I read off, by the way. If you've ever wondered what the, what the beginning descriptor things are, I read them off. Um, because if you did not know, our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds. We art nerds have to stick together. So if you're an art nerd, you be, if you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out the links to our social media in the description below. Um, and check out our website for our class offerings where you can get critique, guidance, and encouragement from our instructors because we're not just a YouTube channel. We are an art school too. So if you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content, consider supporting us on Patreon. Um, we're actually changing up our Patreon subscription soon. So like right now it's two bucks a month, but it might actually change soon. Um, we can get access to tons of perks, like my working files, critique sessions, and a huge discount on our classes that have a limited amount of spots, so be sure to check those out before they are gone. Um, but again, we're going to be actually revamping that, so it's going to be a bit different for what we offer on Patreon and all that fun jazz. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit different. Hello, Cinnamon the Border Collie. The first time you've been on stream. Yeah, this is a bit different. I'm usually not on camera. <laughs> I thought you had it perfectly memorized. No, I have a good majority of it memorized, but not all of it. Um, is it going to be a story? Yeah, this is going to be a story time stream, but we are going to be looking at some of my old artwork. So, oh, me checking the links as soon as you said it. Well, Dar lovely Daria does that for me. Um, I also have my current sketchbook here with me, which I actually don't draw in a lot because most of the time I draw digitally. So I have some of my old sketch, my current sketches here. Um as well to compare with some of my old traditional work we're gonna go like really far back so i like have i have artwork in this drawer which i have oh, i have to move everything else is out in here but i have like artwork in this drawer from like 2006 so when i was 2006 i was about five five maybe is how old my arc is so there you go now you know my age <laughs> oh camera please focus hello um but yeah, there's some really, really old work back here, which I talked about because I've been drawing since I was like a baby. Like, I mean, I've been drawing for like my entire life, right? Um, and it's like, it's, it's always been like, for those who don't know, um, hang on, let me, let me just reorganize some stuff over here. Oh. So for those who don't know, 
fact that you have drawings from that far back explains how random your room looks, yeah. Um, so, for those who don't know, I come from an art family. Um, so, where am I from? Canada. Um, so, for the, like, I... I come from an art family, so I am an illustrator. My father was a musician, but he's a photographer mostly by trade. Um, my brother is getting into computer science, but he's also trained a bit in drawing and he's taught himself the ukulele. Um, my mother was a voc hobbyist vocalist um, when she was younger. Um, and like my entire dad's side of my family, like his brother is a culinary artist and he was really good with airbrushing and oil painting. Uh, his wife was a wax artist, daughters, one of them is a photographer and a textile artist by trade, um, and a university professor, and then my other cousin is a pianist and an actress and a writer. Um, so we have, like, I come from an art family, <laughs> so my entire life it's just been, like, art after art after art, um, but I'm the one, I'm the only dedicated illustrator. Um, so all of my family, a good chunk of my family can draw, but I'm the only illustrator by trade. Um, so I started drawing, like, way, way back. I used to use, um, <laughs> I used to use cardboard, like, um, uh, what's it called? Construction paper, and I draw on it with marker. My favorite thing to draw was elephants. I always drew elephants when I was a kid. Um, and it was like, half of these drawings are like elephants and horses. What is this? What does this mean? <laughs> I love looking through kid drawings. Okay, why is this child- wait, why is this child in jail? <laughs> why is this child in jail? Uh, you're five and you started? Nice. Oh, your brother plays the uke? That's great. Yeah, no, I used to play the piano. Um, the two- the music stuff that I used to do was I played piano, I sang, um, and I played the flute. That's what I did. Child jail for real. Thank you. Um, I, I, my hair is one of my proudest parts of me. <laughs> I get it from my mother and my father. My father's strong hair and my mother's silky hair. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of elephants like this kind of kind of old <laughs> elephant. It was a lot of like marker. Oh wow, you can even see like my. I don't know what this means. I feel like the the horse was turned into ash and it's just like is rebirthed like a phoenix. I don't know what this means, but you can see like my old comic work <laughs> if you're wondering i'm a comic artist by trade as well um i love comic work i love sequential art that's what i do most of the time now um and concept work that's what i do um currently i go to university for illustration i was in game art college previously before that yo are these geese let's go yo it's just a big long thing of <laughs> pencil crayon geese <laughs> I knew, guys. I knew. Back when I was like six. Oh, I love the way that I wrote my name. <laughs> the J is backwards. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, Jessica Santa Pole. I don't know if it's gonna be flipped for you guys. I think it is, but it's gonna be so good. What are these? Hoot hoot. <laughs> Are these owls? <laughs> Why are they hissing? Oh, you know, maybe these are geese because Canadian, we have like Canadian geese everywhere. But why are they saying hoot? Like that's the big question, right? It's giving MLP vibes, true. No, because I was a huge My Little Pony fan when I was a kid. So that would make sense. I love My Little Pony. I had so many My Little Ponies as a kid. Oh, I didn't draw this. <laughs> I didn't draw this. This is my... My mom isn't an illustrator, but this is what she drew when I was six. <laughs> my dad was a big superhero illustrator, so he has a lot of, like, old sketches that you might find in, like, my high school sketchbook. But yeah, there's a lot of, like, 2006 artwork. These are all kind of the same. Like, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Wait, can I find my favorite one, though? There's one that I really, really love in here. It's like, I've definitely, I've showed it on stream before, but I need to show it again if I can find it. Is this it? Yes, it is. It's an old, like, <laughs> it's an old drawing of, like, um, again, I really loved unicorns. I think this was, like, I was learning how to write the number six. <laughs> so it's just a lot of, like, 
<laughs> the repeated triple six with a bunch of unicorns. I think it's really funny. <laughs> Especially what I'm like known for in my original works now with all the all the demons. But yeah, no, I think this is really funny. It's <laughs> I drew this when I was in. Oh shoot. I wanna say. I want to say this is like kindergarten earlier than that. So I was like maybe five, four. It's so funny. <laughs> Your mom tried drawing a cat and ended up with a snowman. Well, you do start with the circles. So like, you know, she's on the right track. Just maybe needs to stay on it. <laughs> Can you show it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, the unicorn demon ritual. I don't really know what little me was thinking but like clearly she was setting herself up for like what she is today <laughs> i have like real skulls in my room i like i draw a lot of demons that kind of regard so it's like the true meaning of demon child for real um and then i have this jess's drawing pad yeah it's like this <laughs> i think i was gifted this when i was in third grade so i was here in canada third grade is around the age of like eight nine something like that around there did i draw a lot of pokemon i did we're gonna get to that um by the way speaking of pokemon the new pokemon i am getting pokemon violet i just hope i need you all to know that small live is my entire life um, oh i don't even need to so here's like some fifth grade art like i got this pad when i was in like third grade and i had a bunch of there's a lot of loose leaf drawings in here Oh my gosh, this is an old Gravity Falls thing, too. And there's a lot of loose leaf paper in here. So it's a lot of, like, just random drawings that I did all the time. It's like, you know, old pencil crayon. I think this was, oof, this was maybe sixth grade, I think. Like an old, like, this is like a bookmark. We were drawing, like, bookmarks for, for class and whatever. This is an old one, too. Oh, this is 2011. It has the date on it. Thank you, young me. It's like the old pencil crayon drawing. Like, you know, like on the loose leaf paper, the really bad spacing, you know? Loosely, oh, loose leaf means that it's just paper. So it's not inside of a sketchbook. It's just like printer paper. Or like if you have just like a uh, loose paper, so it's not bound in any way. So it's a lot of those things. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of like this pencil crayon stuff. Um, because, you know, when I was younger, it was a lot of fan art, right? I still do a lot of fan art. I still do a lot of fan art. Um, there's a recent fan art thing you have in mind that's blowing up. We're not going to talk about that. Um, but this is, I did not draw this. These are certificates and whatnot. Oh, this is in this plot folder? That's jokes. Okay, so there is a, <laughs> so I can't actually show the front of this because it, it doxes me. But this is a calendar. Um, that I, I won a competition. I can't actually show this because there's like, there's like sections in here that actually show off where I live. Um, so I can't do that. Um, but this is a calendar. This little, this is a, this little thing is a calendar. Um, and I, I won in second grade. I won a drawing competition to have my work in the calendar. So that's in there. You just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go through all of this. This was, oh, this was sixth grade. I remember being really proud of this. Omori ads, I love Omori. We're gonna draw a picture of me right now, thank you. A snake? I have Pokemon RC, this Pokemon X, Sapphire, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I didn't get BDSP just cause like I, all of my, I, I'm friends with a bunch of Pokemon streamers and they were like, don't get it. <laughs> um, but I do have Arceus. I got Pokemon X as well. I got Legends Arceus, I got Pokemon X. I have, Omega Ruby. I didn't get Alpha Sapphire. Um, I drew this when I was in sixth grade, I want to say. Um, so I, no, this was sixth grade. This was an assignment. Um, I remember when, like, we, we were just supposed to, like, um, draw characters. Or, like, we were supposed to, like, study an art style. And we were supposed to, like, do a presentation on it. So I was like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna do a presentation on manga. <laughs> but I pronounced it manga back then, but it was, uh, I was like, I was like, I'm gonna, you know, study manga, you know? And I, I drew a, I redrew a page from the Pokemon Black and White manga, which I never finished. I really should finish that manga, but it's great. <laughs> I love look 
looking at my old art so much. So like, I have an obsession with Kirby. Um, this goes way back. I'm saying like this, this obsession has gone way back. This is maybe, oof, it's Prince Fluff in this. That's when Kirby's Epic Yarn came out, 2009-ish. So this is like grade four. It's like, <laughs> you know how you have swag when you're a circle. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I love, I love looking at my old art. Like, it pains me, but it's, like, the funniest thing ever. So it's, like, I had, like, my Kirby obsession has run very, very long. Here's Kirby with a Bible quote. I think that's pretty epic. <laughs> oh. Here's my late epic character design that I did when I was really young. This is also fourth grade for sure. Yeah, based on based on the style, just how I did it. It's it's gonna be jumping all over the place, y'all. But yeah, like the big square eyes and the anatomy. Oh, it's so bad. It's so good. This anatomy sucks. It's so fun though. I love looking at my old art so much. How old was I when I drew this? It was maybe fourth grade, so I wanna say like nine. Nine-ish, nine, eight. No, nine. Uh, probably nine, based on how this looks. I'm like, because I look at my old artwork a lot, so it's like I'm kind of used to figuring out what age I was in, or what age I was when I drew these. I'm like skipping through a bunch of them, because some of them are just like boring. It's not anything interesting. Oh, this is when I started reading Rings of Fire. You can tell, because it's like the anatomy is very similar to, um... Oh my gosh. The... Y'all wings of fire stands. What what type of dragon was Glory? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, how do I decide what to keep versus toss? I keep it all. <laughs> it's rare that I, it's rare that I get rid of it. What type of dragon? Rainwing. Okay, yeah, you can see like the Rainwing inspiration in the anatomy of this one. So it's like you can kind of, <laughs> you can tell that I started reading Wings of Fire. Um, so it's like, see, I read Wings of Fire up until maybe I would until maybe the book five i finished up to book five because i thought it was finished by then and then i had a student in one of my classes and she was like she was like yeah i've read up to like book 12 and i was like book 12 I'm like what do you mean book 12 there's 12 books <laughs> so i was like i was so confused oh oh my gosh actually pretty sick thank you i love drawing dragons dragons are but now that i work for a DD group like dragons are something that i draw pretty often now um so it's like i have like multiples of those oh this is so funny okay so back in sixth grade seventh grade back in seventh seventh grade sixth grade i want to say sixth grade back in sixth grade yeah because I, I only used loose leaf sixth grade prior so back in sixth grade uh we had a little project where we had to make an advertisement we had to choose like a company we had to make an advertisement. So these are a bunch of frames for an animation. I made an advertisement for Crayola. And I used like Crayola pencil crayons and like I I drew this cat and I did a bunch of like, I did like a, a really simple like six frame animation. I like took the pictures and it was like, I did like a speed paint. So I, I drew, I like filmed me drawing one of them. And then like the cat was animated. It was like Crayola, bring your drawings to life. I remember that. It does kind of look like Meowth. <laughs> It do kind of look like Meowth, though. A striped Meowth. <laughs> there's so many iterations of Meowth now, like, I can't. Which ones is it? It's like, there's just Alolan Meowth. It's just called Alolan Meowth, and then Alolan Persian. And then there's the the Viking one from Swish. I don't 100% remember it. Oh, here's the Kirby art. I love the compositions on these. This is for sure fourth grade like it's like the i like the the kirby overflow the bathtub oh no like the super crazy like <laughs> about like empty space up here do i still read wings of fire no i don't i'm i'm like i don't read as much as i should like i really want to read more like i definitely like like, I need to finish uh, the Apollo Trials, like, the the Percy Jackson series. Like, I need to finish the Apollo Trials. I have two books left to, to get prepped for the Nico arc, bro. There's a Nico section coming. I need to read- Nico's my favorite character! Um. Oh, here's some more Pokemon black and white art. It's like, all of these are, like, out of, like, 
you notice there's a lot of fan art. It's a lot of me just kind of doing whatever I want. Because that's what you do when you're a kid, right? I didn't really focus on anatomy. I didn't really focus on all that fun jazz. Ooh, here's a fun fight scene. I should have gotten out my loose leaf folder. Like, I have a folder for this stuff, too. Here's a fun fight scene with Kirby and Krakow. Krakow's such a good boss. It's so easy to fight, but he's a fun one. Um, but yeah, no, this is a... It's like, it's a lot of me experimenting with composition and just kind of drawing whatever the heck I want. Kirby's a great intro to to drawing. What's really funny is that Kirby is on this is on a similar, like, difficulty level as my current D&D character that I play as. <laughs> oh, here's Keldio versus Victini. Pokemon Black and White is based. I don't care what any of you say. Is Keldio versus Victini. No color, because clearly I didn't have the time for it. But it's like, the, you know, <laughs> the energy <laughs> going in. It's so funny. I love this. This is so fun. Okay, well, we're gonna move off of this folder because it's been 20 minutes of me just going through this singular folder. Let's just put these away real quick because we got a lot of sketchbooks to go through. Do I have a silver play button? No. For those who don't know, by the way, this is technically not my channel. I'm just the person who's on it. Um, we're a company. I'm just like the streamer. Um, so I don't own this channel. It's lovely Faye if she's still in here. Um, but say thank you to lovely Daria for being our mod, because she's wonderful and we love her. Okay, let's move on to, let's move on to sketchbooks, because I got a lot of those. Um, so again, I only had sketchbooks maybe sixth grade and onwards, fifth grade and onwards, something like that. Um, how old was I when I drew this stuff? The ones that I was looking at back there was grades four to six around there. Um, love the heads up, thank you. Uh, do you have any advice for when you feel lost and aren't sure what to practice or improve on? Yeah, so like if you feel like you're stuck, um, take a real good look at your own artwork and see like what can I improve on? Because um, if you think that, or if you think that you can't improve any further, bring it to someone else and then say what they think you should improve on. It's good to have art friends who can tell you that. Um, so like it's good to you know, be able to tell people or have people who are like, oh, you could probably improve on this or you can improve on this. All right. Like I'm very, I'm very clinical of my own work. So it's like, I tend to hold myself to the standards of like masters. So it's like, <laughs> like I can self critique, but it's always good to have other people who can critique as well. Um, but if you don't have any, like, because a lot of people, when they say like, I, I don't know what to improve on, they're not really improving on improving on the clinical stuff. So I'd do studies. I'd really study up on anatomy. I'd study up on color, so on and so forth. Um. Oh, this is for sure sixth grade. So I got really obsessed with Guardians of Gahul at one point. For the, if you don't know what that is, it's the the book with owls. If you haven't, if you, there's a movie too. There's a movie about uh like owls. <laughs> um. Like the the movie with like talking owls and like they they fight and whatever, it's like it's like warrior cats with owls basically. <laughs> um, so I was super super obsessed with Guardians of Gahul. No 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 because the, there was a movie but there was also like the book series and the book series was amazing. I read the whole thing as a kid. I barely remember it but I remember loving it. Um, but I also remember watching the movie and being like kind of meh about the movie. Um, but yeah for sure like we're at the sketchbook era now. So like here's me kind of like. Oh wait, I completely forgot an era of comics. Hang on, before we get to the sketchbook, let's get to actual comics. <laughs> this folder, <laughs> I completely forgot. I was like, oh my gosh, wait. Okay, we'll go back to that later. But this is like, I used to, I used to like, you know, when you're a kid and you like, um, like when you're a kid and you get like pieces of paper and you like staple the edges. Like I used to do that all the time. Like all of my like, books it was like like this one is like it's you know there's like text on one side drawing on the other i don't know what i wrote so i'm just kind of covering it up slightly but there's like you know there's like the, the little drawing on one side and there's like the text on the other uh it's so funny i love that um even the but it was a lot of even like that that one was like very like storybook-esque so it was like writing on one side illustration on the other i did a lot of comics too so I did a lot of fan comics. I'm not going to go close up on this one because it's so cringe. But it's like the... It was... This one was like a series that I did, quote unquote, called Toad Reanimated. And it was like Toad from like Mario and he had to go through a bunch of different games. I thought it was so sick. <laughs> I was like... 
Oh, how old was I? I was eight, maybe. Oh, does it have my... Did I write a biography for myself? Oh, no, I didn't finish the second one. That's right. The first one is finished, though. It's somewhere in here, somewhere. Oh, here it is. This one's even older. I definitely did this one when I was, like, seven. Yeah, you can tell. Kind of the aged paper. This is so scuffed. Do you see this? It was like, I drew the mushroom wrong, so I needed to redraw over it. All right, like, And I was like, oh, I don't have whiteout. I don't want to use whiteout. So I just ripped out another sheet of paper and, like, stuck it on. <laughs> so scuffed. It's so funny. Ugh. It's like... It's so, like, you can see, like, my terrible, like, paneling. Oh, it's so funny. I love this. It's... Oh, there's Corb! There's Corb! Corb always shows up without fail. Without fail. <laughs> In all of these comics, Corb shows up without fail. He always shows up at some point. It does not matter. <laughs> if it's an original work, if it's not, Corb is there. <laughs> Corby is there. My son. Um, oh, this one is straight up just Kirby. This was like my- I loved Kirby's Epic Yarn. I still love Kirby's Epic Yarn. It's one of my favorite Kirby games. Um, this one was just like... I made Kirby the sassiest person ever. Like, I, it was like, Kirby is like the cutest, like the sweetest little thing. I made Kirby the sassiest person because I needed edge. Like, I was so edgy. I needed that edge to be in everything that I consumed. So I was like, oh yes, I will make Kirby edgy in all of these comics as well. Oh, it's so funny. Um, yeah. Realistic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Realism at its finest, guys. But yeah, there's, there's a lot in here. It's a lot of, like, just... Oh, shoot. <laughs> A Yoshi's threat. I remember loving writing these. It was like, again, I needed edge in my life. So Yoshi and Koopa Troopa were these like really cool like spies, and Toadette was like this assassin. And like, <laughs> yo, I love this cover so much. Look at them like marker lines. That's so great. This is. I want to say that this is like I was nine, maybe eight. Kirby emo phase. I for sure have a Kirby emo drawing somewhere. Somewhere. I remember John Kirby with bangs at least once, but I don't remember one. You know? But for sure. You know? <laughs> um, What else? What else? What else? But yeah, that's kind of the only interesting things in here. There's There are stuff that I'm willing to show on camera anyway. <laughs> so let's go back to the sketchbooks. Um... Gonna say massive appreciation to Jesse and the Wing Canvas team for helping the general public get better art with these streams. I'm glad. I'm glad that it helps you. Um, I have fun teaching. I, as apathetic as I can be, I do have a lot of fun teaching. So it's a lot of like a lot of fun teaching, a lot of fun streaming. Um, so it is like it's a good time to be on these streams. <laughs> oh my gosh, my hair. My hair is a mess right now. I'm so sorry. It's like it's kind of a funky hair day today. Yo. Also, my headset was kind of dying, <laughs> so I have to plug it in. This is a wireless set. If any of you are thinking of getting this set, it's the Logitech Lightspeeds. Um, I love these. Um, the ear attachments were a separate purchase, but the these headsets, so nice. Like, not sponsored, but so nice. How do you find your art style? Because I struggle with that. I didn't focus on that, ever. It was it, something that comes to you naturally. The thing is, is that everybody wonders what their style will be, but the thing is that everybody has a style. It's just that it, as you get older, it becomes more refined. So, like, uh, now, as a 21... No, I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> um, now, as a 20-year-old, right, like, my style is... It's a little bit more strong, right? It's, like, a little bit more concrete. But, like, when I was younger... I didn't have that, right? So it was a lot of me just trying to figure out and drawing, especially like if you have like inspirations, like things that inspire you as a kid, like it's gonna inspire you things that like what you absorb will be what your art is as time goes on. Like it'll be what you absorb is what your art will become. So that's kind of the thing that happens. I just copy anime characters. You should try to find your own voice from that. Yeah, so the Guardians of Gahul stuff. I started drawing, like I, I kept up with comics. Like, we're not gonna read it, but I kept up with comics a lot, and it was like, this is a few-page ordeal. We're gonna go through a really long one, though. 
But yeah, it's like, uh, this was like, woo, there we go. Um, this is sixth grade, so it's like sixth, fifth grade. So like, I didn't have any borders. It was just the straight ruler lines. And like, <laughs> I didn't really think about, I mean, this composition is not the worst considering my age. Oh, here we go. There's more here. This is pretty bad though. Like, it's not good. <laughs> not even close. But like, the there's so much text. There's too much text. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of that. Kind of fun jazz, you know. Yo, Princess Wolf. We'd love to see it. <laughs> I was waiting. I'm like, there had to be some kind of princess wolf that shows up. There's gotta be wolves. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am not immune. I am not immune. <laughs> None of you are immune. <laughs> Have I seen Avatar? Which one? Phone messed up, so I missed the first half. It's okay. There'll be a VOD. You'll be able to watch this back. Guardians of Kahul is so good. Did I spell Guardians wrong? That's so jokes. We're not going to look at that page. I'm, I'm going to die. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> look at this sick composition! <laughs> Let's go. You can tell that this was like when I first started using shapes within my body, right? The bodies, right? If you kind of look closely, like don't look too close. But like if you kind of look closely, you can see like the, the buildups of the body, right? I started using more shapes going throughout everything, right? Like, it was like... <laughs> uh, I stuck to my... I stuck to my form so strictly here. Like, so strictly. Like, you shouldn't do that as you get older. As you start to get better with poses, you start to release the forms from their cage. Um, that's spider arm, right? <laughs> no, look at the legs, dog. That's what I'm looking at. Look at these. It's so thin. My guy walking on toothpicks. I was obsessed with Rise of the Guardians. Like that that movie with like Jack Frost. Like Chris Pine's Jack Frost. A good Jack Frost. But yeah, like... Uh, oh, yeah. No, it's, it's so funny. I love looking back at these sketchbooks. We're not going to spend too long on this one either. Um, yo! Fashion... Sorry, I need to show this one off too. Fashion Wolf! Let's go! <laughs> Look at that fashion, the fedora with the small sunglasses and the heart locket. Bro, she got shoes. Bro, she got laced up boots. For real. Yo, an icon. An icon. Misses out here. <laughs> the text at the top says, you see Corin here in Wolfia, by the way. Wolfia. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any- like, some of these old characters, I could tell you their whole lore. I don't remember any of this. Uh, here in Wolfia, I am wildly popular for my famous designs in fashion. Your famous designs, you say. Miss popping off over here. Stylish DM, for real. I hope you look better than me, for real. <laughs> she out here styling hot- she- yo, the look goes hard. Yo. I can't show this, but it was like, there's, there's lyrics to an Owl City song on there. Yo, Kirby! Kirby! <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of little My Little Pony. I didn't grab any of my sketchbooks that have My Little Pony in them. I know that I got back into My Little Pony when I was like 12. So it was like, I was really into My Little Pony when I was like four, three, kind of around there. And then I got into Friendship is Magic when I was in like seventh grade. Um... So there's like a whole section of Friendship is Magic. And then I got out of it again. You see this? So jokes. Okay, so the story behind this one. This is such a fun composition. This is like Marvel poster, bro. It's actually the same composition as a Marvel poster. Like, I'm, I'm, I, you think I'm ironic? I'm not. Like, it's basically the same composition. Big bad at the top. Main character in the front. Supporting characters are up. It's literally like... Yeah. Um, the story behind this, though, was, like, I had a, I had a fan fiction that I wrote. It's, like, 150 pages, like, typed. It's not a text. 
it's typed. I wrote it for, it's like, it's not a comic, it's typed. It was 150 pages. I wrote it from fourth grade to sixth grade. I spent every day, that, that fan fiction is what taught me how to type. <laughs> it taught me how to type, basically. And like, uh, I would write it every day. And it was basically like, I was obsessed with the Kirby Right Back At You show, right? And Kirby Right Back At You was Kirby's anime. And what I was like, you know, I need my edge. So I was like, what if the episodes were edgier? So I brought in different characters. I added in like swearing. I made it like... <laughs> I am never going to read that thing ever anywhere. But it was there. It was all in there. And like, this was... I called it Kirby 13 because Kirby was 13 years old in this <laughs> story. And it was like, it was so much. It was so much. Like, I remember having so much fun writing it. But I look back and I'm like, man. There were like, it was like Disney movie kind of thing. It was like, there was musical breaks. There was like, oh, it was so good. Oh my gosh, color. What? <laughs> that expression actually kind of rules. So it's like, I don't remember the premise of this. Wait. Okay. Oh, my guy, he, he spilled a bunch of paint everywhere. This expression kind of rules. This one, these two expressions kind of rule. Uh, even as a kid, I think, like, the number one thing that people have always said I was good at was expressions. And they're like, you're so good at emoting with your characters. And I was like, thank you. I do my best. Like, I, I love drawing expressions. Yo. More edge. It's so good. I'm not gonna... I, I can't show everything. That's the thing. It's like, as much as I'd like to show, as much as I can, like... I was a really edgy child, so there's stuff in here that's just, like, I can't show. Color impossible, right? <laughs> I actually like coloring now. When I was younger, I didn't. Yo, Rayquaza. Let's go. Rayquaza with Ninjago. Let's go. <laughs> I never drew the Lego people. I drew them just as, like, people. So I was like, yeah, let's draw, like, Ninjago characters with, like, Pokemon. Wouldn't that be, like, sick? <laughs> Every single time that I go in, like, that, the lake, let's go, I start to sound like my D&D &D character. Is everyone okay with the music volume, by the way? Let me know if it's, like, too loud. Oh, no, I lied. Here's my little pony. <laughs> I thought I didn't have any in this sketchbook. Here she is. There's Twilight Sparkle. I don't remember. Like, there was, like, a Gala episode, wasn't there? It has to be between seasons one and three. I didn't watch anything past that. But like... Hmm. My, there's a little bit of My Little Pony in here. Oh! Wait, okay. This actually goes kind of hard. Like, unironically. So I was like... Again, I really love... Music's chill? Alright. Um, yeah, there's music. It's kind of quiet. I'm trying to keep it like nice and quiet. Anybody want it turned up a little bit? I can turn it up a little bit. Um... But yeah, like this, <laughs> like I loved Kirby's Epic Yarn. So what I wanted to do was like create a little strip for each of the worlds of Kirby's Epic Yarn. For those of you who've actually played it, this actually kind of goes hard. I would have loved this if I finished it because I had like um, colored Stadler liners um, and the Stadler liners, like because it was a like Kirby's Epic Yarn, they're all made of yarns. So I was like, oh, I'll use the liners and it'll be like this, just the outlines with color. It's actually quite cute. Um, I don't cringe at this at all. This is actually a really cute idea. I would have finished this. I should redraw this. This is cute. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on to another sketchbook because we're gonna be. I'm gonna be on this forever. Why not? Oh, what time is it? Oh, I may need to move a bit quicker. This is the same era, so I'll just skip that. Ah, what's this one? Ooh, this is. Ooh, 2014. All right, so we're getting up in age. So this is, I'm 2014. I was in seven, late seventh grade. Um, I like music level as atmosphere about it being distracting. Okay, sick. Um, 2014. So like I used to draw myself as a little Pikachu. Um, I called her Pika. Um, and this is a friend of mine. Um, we're gonna call them by the we're gonna call them by the Pokemon names that I give everybody. So this was because she was a, a Chinchino. She's a she's Chinchi. So that was what I, <laughs> I gave them all those names, right? Um, and this was this was like, you know how like 
people, um, like they had like a diary as a kid. This was my diary. So like every time that I drew myself as the little Pikachu, this was like my diary entry. So this is when I went off to British Columbia as a kid. Um, the Pokemon phase, it never ended. Um, though I'm not as obsessed with it as I was before. Uh, oh, that's edgy. Yo. So you can see my style kind of developing now that I've gotten older. It's like this is my very, very anime heavy phase. I loved, um, I just loved the Pokemon PCs, right? So like I loved playing as the, or even like the, even the NPCs. I loved the rivals. Like I loved Gary. I loved Gary slash Blue. Um, it's like, I thought he was so hot as a kid. So true. Oh! <laughs> Nia. <laughs> Um, I, my favorite um, series was Heart Gold Soul Silver, so there's gonna be a lot of gold and silver coming up because I loved them. Yep, here you go. Some more chibis that I drew, the cute ones. Um, headphone users, oh sorry, am I loud? I'm so sorry. I can turn me down a little bit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I get kind of loud. <laughs> Let me know if I'm ever a little too loud. I can turn me down a bit. Or I'll try to keep my volumes low. Yo! Let's go! There's a dra really sick dragon fight. Um, I drew a lot of these on a plane. So it's like the, a lot of the... Volume's good for you? Okay. I drew a lot of these like dragons and monsters on a plane. So there's a lot of them. Like you can see like my old sketching style in here. Um, oh, you can, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, can it? You can see me feathering a lot. If you don't know what feathering is, feathering is when you, your lines are kind of scratchy. Um, so it's like they have a weird feathered quality to them. You don't do that. Like when you sketch, you want to keep it nice and clean. Let me compare it to like current sketches of mine actually, because I do have some traditional work in here. Um, yeah, here you go. So a lot of like my sketches now, there's a lot of just like straight lines used instead. So it's like less like, it's less like a bunch of this. It's more like single stroke, single stroke, that kind of jazz. There's gotta be more in here. Oh, there's Kingsley, there's my son. Um, but yeah, it's very like single stroke rather than like multiple little lines, right? So it's like, it has less of a feathered quality that's called line confidence. Um, so you really want that as you get older. Um, we're not gonna go through this sketchbook that what I really wanted to get through, we're actually going to skip a couple of sketchbooks because I want to switch off to digital soon. Um, what I really wanted to go through. So this is sketchbook number one. And this is sketchbook number two, right? These two sketchbooks, it's only been 42 minutes because I only have two hours here. Um, so I wanted to have the first hour be traditional, second hour be digital. Um, Chicken scratch? Chicken scratch is, uh, you can call it chicken scratch, but most people call it feathering. Um, cause chicken scratch also has the secondary meaning of like, you can't read this person's handwriting, so you call it chicken scratch. Um, but yeah, so these two, I, I lost my train of thought for a second. I disassociated for like two seconds. So these two sketchbooks, um, were both completed in eighth grade, um, the entirety of eighth grade. So I was, um, about 13 to 14 years old. And these two sketchbooks are just one comic series that I wrote. So it was called Magic. Um, it was a fan fiction. <laughs> and these, this comic is what introduced me to the world of character creation. Um, and what switched me from doing nothing but fan art to nothing but OCs. Um, so it was almost like a transitionary period, this comic. Um, because even though I don't draw... I don't really draw these Pokemon characters anymore. I still draw the same characters that I created in here. Um, so this world of characters, now I'm actually transitioning some of them into D&D because &D, I think it'd be kind of funny. Um, but this whole thing was, it was a big comic. It was one big comic and I did, I drew pages every single day. I would draw pages every single day and it would be like, I'd let my friends read them and like, I don't, I need to reread this. I feel like. It was like it starts off with this uh it was a it was a pokemon fan fiction really it was like because i really loved um very loosely a pokemon fan fiction so it involved like 
silver and gold from the Heart Gold Soul Silver series. And Silver was like he starts off like they're adults here, and Silver starts off like he's in a bar and he's trying to and he's kind of like because I really shipped Silver and Gold. So it was like they had just had a fight and he really wants to like let loose for a bit. And this bartender comes up to him and goes like he's like he's like listen I can help you out. He's like I can very very specifically here he kind of goes um want me to help you escape from that for a little while silver goes what do you mean he goes i can help you escape i can help you forget the pain the guilt the suffering i can bring you to paradise underlined <laughs> um and it was like yeah a bar um silver asks what the what's the catch and he goes you're a smart kid huh the catch is that you have to share a drink with me um and this drink transports silver off to a whole different world and that world was something that i created um and it was like because linus the bartender his name is stygian he's a bat character i mentioned stygian in a previous video D lovely daria or one of the people editing the video i think it was daria maybe it was somebody else asked me like hey do you have any images of the of the bat character and i was like i don't i haven't drawn him in ages but i have drawn him here um but yeah it was a lot of like this is kind of fun. It's like, it's so cringe. It was so cringe and it was so like, like, I think, wrote this age 13? Yeah, I did. Um, so this was like a 13 year old comic. And what he does is like he, so Silver goes off to this other world and he's like, or he, he kind of starts seeing things. He gets transported off to this other world and he has to like, uh, they're like, listen, we need your help because there's like a calamity coming. And the, um yeah because yeah there's like a calamity coming and silver has to um these people they enlist silver to go and help <laughs> corb with teeth corb with teeth i love corb with teeth i love drawing corbs Uh, cute silver and gold. I love them. Oh yeah, and then you get to chapter two, and like silver snaps out of his kind of haze, and he gets back transport, and he's like, "I need to talk to this bartender. What was happening there?" And the woman goes, he goes back to the bar, which is called the Scythe, by the way, because I thought that was pretty funny. Um, the Scythe Bar and Lounge, and the woman, he talks to a woman who's there. Silver's like, "Is Linus here today?" And she goes, "Linus Wetler." And Silver goes, could you describe him? He goes, pierced ear, near bald, goatee, large nose. Silver goes, yeah, it's him. And the woman goes, would you like to talk to the graveskeeper? Because Linus was murdered a decade ago. So, like, it was, like, um, this character, um, like, here he is. This is the back character. This is Stygian. Um, Stygian was a... He, he was the guy who went to go and recruit Silver, and he was also the bartender. So he'd, like, changed forms to go and, like, reel him in or whatever. Um, I made comics in third grade. Never made a fan fiction of anything. Is that a little weird? No, no, not at all. We all just have different paths. Yes, logic light speeds. G seven thirty threes. I loved writing fluff. I still do. There's just a lot in here. There's so much text, bro. Yeah. He finds Silver finds Stygian. Stygian was so fun to write. He was a big eared Townsend bat. That's what it was. This is so this was the start. If you've ever wondered why I know so much about animal anatomy, it's because of this set set of characters. Um, so I just went like crazy hard into all of these animal characters. So like I I learned as much as I could about mixing human anatomy with animal anatomy. Because I worked on these, this specific set of characters. Well, this expression's actually kind of cute. This expression's kind of cute. This one up here. This is kind of cute. <laughs> First off, my name isn't Linus. It's actually Stygian. From a place called Anifala. Our species is called the Eucharist. Why, why you don't know who we are is because we always hide. Yep. I kept that. So it was always like they were... They were a race who always wanted to hide from humanity and whatever because it was like they live in harmony um but they were always taught like oh yeah we don't want to interact with humans because humans are like awful <laughs> that was always it um 
Yo, Five Nights at Freddy's? Or not, let's, let's not. <laughs> I'm your pretty guinea pig. I wouldn't say guinea pig, more like a Shetland pony. Forget it, I'm not helping. You've made your mind up already? In my opinion, you people should learn to take matters into your own hands. Isn't that a thing? This, this actually, this panel progression is kind of fun. I've done this before still. It's kind of like four panel progression. <laughs> I still done this now. Like the, the like big eyes get bigger. Oh, it's the other way. The big eyes kind of get bigger. Progresses. <laughs> I've done this recently. I've done that panel progression recently. Uh, it's funny, but yeah. There's a lot. But yeah, there was like the first section, which was like Silver learns how to be one of these people because he has to like transform into one of these um, animal people hybrids in order to like seem like he fits in the in the world. And then like, where did the second one go? Okay. <laughs> so the first book is all that. The second one, which is sketchbook number two, is him... Eventually. Oh, this is kind of a fun cover. I started to get a little bit stronger with my work because I did this every single day. So I would draw the pages every single day and slowly my style, style getting started getting more solidified. I started getting stronger in how I did my line work. Um, I've always been kind of okay at just writing out text. So that was really fun to do. Um, but you can see like my, my work getting a little bit stronger as you keep on like going throughout the comic which i think is really funny my panel layout started getting a bit better as well i started getting a little bit more experimental oh my gosh cow <laughs> my son <laughs> i still okay so yeah you can see the panel layout's getting a bit better so this is angel i haven't drawn her in a long time this is cal this character the fox character i still use him today i still draw him today um he's so different now though like he's so like stoic and angry in this comic he's very different now he's very like lighthearted and very eloquent. Yeah, you can always tell when I had more inspiration some days because it was like, yeah, it sucks. Some of these pages have such like, like good examples of like, you know what? Let's just do this. So <laughs> Cause it's like, I, I did, I, I am an adult, so, but like, hang on, how do I hold this? So like, you can see like the kind of action poses kind of getting up there. I started to love like really drawing like action poses, the movement. Okay, this is so awkward, how do I hold this? There we go. <laughs> like the action poses kind of jumping up, like the spider character. He was a, he was a wolf spider um, and he was coming to attack Silver. Um, and it was like this, like you can see me starting to get a bit bolder. You can always tell when like I had more inspiration some days compared to others because the panels got a little bit cleaner. Oh my gosh, color. We're not showing off that one, that's too cringe. Oh wow, that's a lot of edge. It's kind of, it's, it kind of goes hard though. <laughs> I can't, I can't show it. It's, it's very violent, but like, Here's another character of mine that I still use today. This is Divinity. Um, he's a seahorse character. Um, and like, he'd make such a good Eldritch Knight. Um, but like the, yeah. So like as the, 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 the book progresses, you learn more about the other characters. So at first it's like all about like, oh yeah, you're learning about Silver and Silver is like, trying to figure out how to do this, but like now you learn about the history of these guys. Um, right now the fight is about to start because they need to, they need to fight the like the big bad to get to the, oh, anyway. <laughs> I can't, I can't, like, I, I wish I could, I wish I could, but there's so much in here that I can't show, just, just for, uh, TOS sake, but, 
yeah, it was, it's really funny. Um, it was a lot of like me just kind of doing whatever I wanted. But yeah, so that's the traditional stuff. Um, because when eighth grade came along, I started working. I'm getting really hot, by the way. Um, it is so hot today. Um, but like, like, because when eighth grade hit, that's when I started. Hey, Theo, welcome in. Um, because when eighth grade, um, how you doing, man? Um, came along, I started doing digital art. That's when I first started doing digital was in eighth grade. Um, because I'd never done digital art prior. So I was introduced to the world of digital art when I turned 13. Um, so we're going to go through some of that. Um, let me just open up some of it. Oh, I love going through my old artwork. Where's my very first one? There it is. I've, I'm pretty sure I've showed off my very first one before. Let me just switch the views here for a moment. There we go. I'm still here. Hello. Um, but yeah, so I used to have like, so this is my very first time <laughs> working with digital work because I never, um, you know, let me just pop this out real quick. I got to change out how my, my windows are laid out real quick. Okay. Yeah. So this is my very first digital art attempt. Um, for those who don't know, <laughs> um, what devices, programs did you use when you first started digital art? My very first digital program, don't hate me. Um, my very first digital program was Photoshop. Uh, my very first tablet, I could not tell you. I could not tell you because that tablet um, is older than me. So <laughs> it had no pen pressure. The driver for it was no longer existent. But my hardware, my laptop was this awful little Acer laptop that I had since fourth grade and the corner of it had broken and the charging port had ripped out and had been epoxied back in. So if I moved my laptop even slightly, it would just stop charging because the battery was dead. <laughs> so like, cause I had to keep it constantly charged or else it would die. Um, so that was my very first digital art hardware was this. Um, so that was what I started with. What programs do I recommend? There's a lot of programs that I could recommend. I think the one that I recommend, like the ones that I recommend the most that are paid are CSP and Photoshop. Those are like the best ones that you're going to get. Um, for like free ones, Medibank is pretty high up there. Um, but Medibank is really simplified. Krita, I don't recommend starting on. Krita might be something that you get later on because it's just so different from every other program. Um, but it, it's really up to you what you decide to use. So there's that one. There's also like... Again, I really loved Pokemon Heart Gold. So still very, you can see it down here, 2014. So I was 13. Um, 30.06. Yep, so I just turned, I turned 13 10 days ago when I drew this. <laughs> June 20th, that's my birthday. Um, so this was like a very, very like old, like you can see that feathering. I was not used to the tablet yet. I also didn't know what layers were. So these were all on one layer. Um, and with a brush that's just awful. What is this heart around looking? <laughs> um, so that was definitely what that looked like. Um, what else is in here? I'm looking at it off to the side. Yo, Attack on Titan. Cooking with Titans. Yo, this hand rules. <laughs> I love looking at old heart. Um, Parmesan, Parmesan. I had an inside joke with a friend. It was like, yo, would Titans like cook like as if they were like making a salad? Like that, that was like the whole joke. So I drew this and I sent it to her and I was like, girl, look at this. And we were killing ourselves laughing for like two hours. It was great. Did you have a rough transition from digital, traditional to digital? Not really. I think it was like, cause I didn't really, I was never really like the type to be like, oh, like I can't, like, it's so hard to do from this to this. I was just like, yeah, I'm just having fun. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was very much like just into the ride. You know, there's a lot of Pokemon, silver and gold. I love them. I don't know what this background thing is. I don't know what I was doing. I just, I needed a background element, I guess. Look at this shading dog. Look at that. That's some good stuff. I have no clue what I did. I <laughs> just, I think I had a quote unquote hairbrush and I was like, I just used it everywhere because I thought it was so sick. Yo, Corb is dripped out. 
the wheel wheel kirby is the best kirby power i don't even care like unironically that power is so good like okay it kind of sucks but like it's so fun i don't care <laughs> wheel kirby is just fun like look at that design oh those colors are so saturated it's so awful it's so good um crit is actually what i use now for wells and it's pretty much the beginning for digital art i could say it's kind of complicated it's not that it's complicated it's just that like it's like it, the way that it runs is so different compared to, like, Photoshop and CSP. Like, the functions are completely different. So it's, like, different altogether. Um... Oh, there's some comic work in here. But I, I, didn't, I didn't check them beforehand, so I can't... I can't show just in case. Oh, wait, no, this expression rules. This expression is so good. <laughs> It's so off. It's so funny. Yeah, see, these are like my diary comics. So like, instead of like actually writing diaries, I would draw comics for them. And like, this is a friend of mine, or a friend of mine, was a friend of mine, IRL. Like, I was always Pikachu, so I called myself Pika. So this was Chari. I used Comic Sans because I didn't have a comic font back then. Now I do. We use I use Animate Ace. What you drawing? I'm not drawing right now. We're looking through my old art. This is the stream. We're gonna be looking through like all my old art. There's a lot of Pokemon. Like a lot. This is when I started to have pen pressure. Yes? Yes! I got pen pressure here, so I switched my tablet. Um look at this sick font, bro. <laughs> so I, I I used a I got a tablet with um pen pressure here. I got a Wacom Intuos, so that was my second tablet. Um, and now I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. Look at this eyes. These eyes suck. <laughs> I love looking at old artwork. Um, so it was a lot of that, right? It's just like me experimenting. Oh, shoot. Okay. So I drew this again, 2014, way back when. I, my eighth grade teacher loved penguins. Like he loved penguins. And he was like, so this is like eighth grade. And he's like, Jess, he's like, can you draw me a penguin i'll set it as my laptop background and i was like you got it so i so i drew him a penguin and it was his laptop background uh for that year and then i left obviously i graduated went to high school and then i went to college and i was in college and i was like oh, i should i should go visit like my elementary school i go back and i go see my old eighth grade teacher and i'm like yo what's up and he's like yo what's up right and like his laptop is still projected on the screen and it's still this drawing <laughs> and i look at him and i'm like do you want me to draw you a new one? Like, I, I, like, this, it's so old. And he's like, no. He's like, you drew this for me, like, so long ago. This is, like, a memento. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I offered to draw him a new one. Like, if you want, like, a proper painted background, like, I can do that. And he was like, he's like, no, no, no. This is, like, I drew this, like, you drew this, like, in 2014. I gotta keep, so, like, I visited him in 2019. That's when I went. Um, and he was like, no, no, no. This is, like, my, this is, like, the best. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> so he kept it i don't know if he still has it as his background it'd be so funny if he did um but i don't know i haven't he, he doesn't teach at that school anymore and like i don't i haven't seen him since um yo yeah so this is what colored pika looked like and she had like this gap hoodie i couldn't get the so the reason i couldn't get this color um the color that i wanted it was it was a very specific um like neon coral and like it's not on the um, it wasn't really, like, it technically was, but I would have had to work with colors differently to get the proper color that I needed, because this is, like, a neon coral hoodie, and, like, I, I, that was my favorite hoodie when I was a kid, and I did also used to have this hair, so, like, my hair used to be dip dyed red, or, uh, umbrae red, um, so, Pika had umbrae red hair, um, which I had to teach like that. I had, I haven't had, like, really awful teachers ever. Like, I've had, like, some ones that I didn't really like, but there were never any that I, like, hated, hated. Yo, my first digital painting! If you stick around, I'm gonna be redrawing this soon. <laughs> I'm gonna be redrawing this one. Um, but this is the, my very first digital painting. I used, like, the smudge tool. You can, like, see. Like, I just kind of went around and smudged everything. This sucks. It's so good. <laughs> it's Chikorita. I love Chikorita. Um... I could redo this so fast now. But like, it was like, uh... yeah, this is my first time trying to digital paint. And I thought that it was really funny. 
I'm staying then. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not drawing. I'm not redrawing it this stream. It's going to be another stream. I think it's next week's. I don't remember what next week's is. Whoops. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. I need to, I needed to check something. Oh, no. Next week is Pokemon requests. Yeah. So next week I'm taking your request to draw Pokemon. Then it's how to draw action poses. Then it's how to draw movement. That's what we're doing. Where is the chat with her? No, there it is. Um, but yeah, so funny. I love this. Um, oh, this Corb. Yo, look at this font. This font sucks. Why did I love this font so much? I think it was called Ravy. Ravy ITC, something like that. I loved this font. I have no clue why. I know a lot of fonts because I just used so many fonts when I was a kid. Like, I loved them. Honestly, not a bad pink to pick though. I don't know why I shaded with black. Not on something like this. <laughs> it's fine to shade with black. It just depends on how you use it. Yo, Big Hero 6! I loved this movie. I still love this movie. Like, I was like, I love, I adored this movie. So, like, I was like, I gotta draw something for it. <laughs> oh, I was so proud of this side profile. I remember loving this. Gold from Pokemon. I remember loving this. I was like, it's just a sketch. Yo. A little tip, by the way, um, is a thing when you're drawing faces. If you put a straight line here and the majority of the face is behind, like if you start from the top of the forehead and then go down to the chin, if you draw like a straight line and the majority of the, the facial features are like behind it or very close to that straight line, then you you haven't done a profile right. <laughs> like it's not, it's not uh, accentuated enough. So you're gonna have to fix that if you do that. Am I going to watch the new Baymax series? I don't think so. Oh, this is one that I really liked. I loved Attack on Titan as a kid. Like, I, I never finished the, the anime, and I got bored of the manga, so I never bothered. Yeah, I remember I really loved that. Play me something pretty. Um, I have these headphones, by the way. These Accent Wear Cat here headphones. I have two pairs of them. Um, they're, they don't sound amazing, but, like, I love the aesthetic of them. I just haven't worn them in ages. Um... There's lying around somewhere in my room. And I remember I really liked that one. Oh yeah! Here's a flat thingy. I spelled beginning wrong. <laughs> Cause I'm late epic writer. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sick. I'm so good. Um But yeah, it was like background practice. I'm gonna practice backgrounds. Um Oh shoot. Let's go. Okay. So funny story behind this piece, right? So I did this piece again 2015 this was the piece that I, I spent the longest time on this piece um this piece was it was three days but i want to like i didn't spend like obviously 72 hours on it i spent like i want to say 20 hours on this one like this was a 20 hour piece i have a 75 hour piece that should be in here yeah there you go this was a 75 hour piece back when i was in high school this was 2019 so it's really funny how you can see that i still like i kind of like elements of this but i don't really like this anymore so it's like it's really funny to see the progression of like my full background pieces so like this was 2019 i can do so much better now but like this piece in particular um i was starting to do a redraw of I started to do a redraw of this one. I'm, I'm opening it now. It's still a Photoshop file, but I never finished it. Um, but I started redrawing it in high school. And load, please. Thank you. So I started redrawing it here. <laughs> like, I, I mean it when I say that I kept these characters. So it was like Cal and Div, I kept on drawing way into like high school. I still draw them sometimes to this day. Um, like, I'm, like this nose is really awful, but there's a lot of elements in here that I still like. The hair kind of rocks. Um, I do like this hand still. That hand is still kind of sick. But it's like, it's really funny to see like the, like I went so hard on this background and I got so lazy with it. I was like, I'm just like, I, I just stopped working on it. So it's really funny to see like, this was like 2015 and then this one was 2019. So it was a four year difference, a four year difference in my digital work. Um... Yeah, it's still, I love it. I still, like, I loved this piece. I really did when I was a kid. Um, and it was a lot of, like, I, I, 
Like I had things that I didn't like drawing when I was younger. Oh, there's Stegium. There's a, <laughs> there's a little icon of my bat character, the Stegium, um, that I mentioned earlier. But like it's like when I was younger, um, like obviously there were things that I found were hard. I still find things today that I find are hard to draw, but like I don't think I've ever backed away from a challenge. That's the thing. Is like if something was hard to draw, I was gonna do it. Like I was like, yeah. I love the challenge. I think it's fun. And it's like, as, as time has gone on, I still think that the challenge is fun. And that's like kind of how you get better at art is to not back down from challenges that are presented to you, you know? You gotta accept the challenge in order to... Um, you gotta accept the challenge in order to get better, basically. Yo, okay, this piece rules, but I can't show it. It's not that it's gory, it's just that the fan art of it, like the stuff. Yeah, I think I can. The, the style, like the style that it comes from, I can't show. It's just like the, the original place that it came from. Oh, monster concepts. Okay, so. Please load. Thank you. So the whole thing with Div was that he would transform into this giant, like, monster like he turned into this giant dragon creature and like he he was like when he would get really mad like he would become this monster this big monster it was called the damned um that was what i called it and it was like this weird leafy sea dragon dragon miss like like put together right and like there's more art of it here but i like to concept it and it was like it would it would breathe out this smoke and it would like it would use the smoke as cover and then it would like chomp down on you. That was the whole thing. Um, I heard that I can get good at drawing for comics if I'm a total newbie in two to three years. Is this true? I don't know. Depends on how hard you work. Anything's possible if you try hard enough, I suppose. I also remember being, oh, I was really proud of this one. This is another headshot that I did. I was like, oh, it's like airbrushed. I hate this. <laughs> This airbrushing is so bad. The contrast is so terrible. But like, I remember really loving it back in 2015. I was like, yeah, this headshot rules. And like, this looks so good. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, it's so funny, like the headshots that I do now. Yo! Is that Sans Undertale? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> let's go. We've reached it. We've reached the Undertale phase. It's so good. Sans Undertale. Yo, Metaton Undertale. Frisk Undertale. Yo. I had a huge... I had a huge love of Undertale. Undertale is how I bonded with my best friend, who is still my best friend to this day. And, like, it's so funny. Yes, OG Sans. The only one that matters. There's a Metaton here. I, oh, this was when I started playing with texture. So I started playing with different brushes. I was like, oh, I kind of like this rough texture. And then I went back to, and I just like stopped doing rough texture. And then I went back to it now. Now, now I use rough texture all the time. <laughs> um, I remember loving this one. I learned how to do fake anime screenshots. Um, and like, <laughs> where is, where's the current ones? Like, this was, like, my, one of my very first screen anime, fake anime screenshots, and this is what they look like to me now. Um, but it's, like, it's it's really funny. <laughs> the difference in how I... Like, this was, like, I was very strongly trying to imitate the, the old anime style, but this one was, like, yeah, I'm just gonna make, like, a fake anime screenshot with this one. There was another one that I had that was a screenshot. Number two? Yeah. So it's, like, the... It's really funny to see the difference in quality. It's, like, the... <laughs> but it's the same process. I use the exact same digital process. It's just that, like, my my skill has changed. So I've gotten a lot stronger with art. That's all. Um, but I remember drawing this. I did it as a speed paint for a French assignment. Um, oh, that's the wrong file. What's this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, 
it was a i got i still use like comics as my diary things even when i got to high school this is 2016 10th grade so it's like did you hear the one about the acupuncture and like all of these numbers so there was a there was a there was a letter bank and depending on the answer uh that would be what letter it was so it was like question one if you answered it right then you would get like the so i i spent like half an hour doing this math question so it was like did you hear about the one about acupuncture it was a jab well done and i like <laughs> i was so mad i was so mad i was like why <laughs> i was so upset <laughs> I immediately texted my friends. I was like, don't solve them. Don't do the math homework. Just don't do it. Uh, always guessed those. Yeah, no. Were you green? Oh, yo, fish. I drew this in MS Paint. I remember I was like, I want to see if I can draw an MS Paint. So I spent like, uh, like, like half an hour drawing this fish because I was like, yeah, let's just draw like a giant like fish and I'm as paint because I think it's funny. Spider arms. I don't know. As I started getting into high school, I started um, filling characters out more. And like I had like, I started drawing muscles a lot. That was a thing that I did when I was in high school. Like I love drawing muscle structure. So like when I got to high school, I was very much like a, I love drawing muscles. That was a thing that I did all the time. Um, I could probably like lower this. Let's just move this all around here. That fish, that fish for real. Um, what is this? Oh, this is like a self-portrait. I was like, yeah. I, I, for a point, like I loved drawing like myself with the the fox mask, and then like I I always wore those chokers. Like I always wore those like those tattoo chokers. I have no clue why. I didn't own this outfit though. <laughs> I do now, but I didn't when I was younger. <laughs> oh, this was a fun little concept thing that I did when I was younger. But yeah, there was like a, we had to do a, this anatomy sucks. <laughs> we had to do like a comic back in uh, French class. And it was like, it was like, it had to be a superhero comic. So I was like, I'll just use characters that I already have. I was like, well, why not? I love the- I never had- I never had, like, really large hands. My hands were always claws. That was always the thing I did. It was always claws. Like, I always, like, I always sharpened the fingers for some reason. Now I very much use rectangles. Um. Oh, Effie. Is this the story? Yeah, this is the very first drawing of Effie. Um, this is when he was sad. <laughs> well, he's sad now, but it's like, you know the meme where it's like, where it's like this, like what people think depression is like, and it's like, I'm sad, and the person's in the corner crying, and then it's like what depression is actually like, and it's like a 70s ad, and it's like all bright and colorful, it's like, I'm depressed, right? <laughs> That's what Effie is now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I still use these characters, like, I still love them. They're, they're a lot of fun to work with when I was a kid, and they're still fun to work with now. They published nice. I used to wear these chokers, it was painful to take them off. I didn't find them painful. I think I just, like, they're, they're just not in fashion anymore. <laughs> so it's happening right now. We're going through um, old digital artwork of mine. Um, so th don't worry about this. This is just my background. <laughs> these are characters from the show that shall not be named. Um, here's a character design that I remember really liking. She was a squirrel and she was like, um, she was a baker. Her name was Perry, short for Periwinkle, because her whole palette was very Periwinkle-esque. I remember really liking, because like I had a really big love of giving people like really crazy colored hair. Um, but I would always over like draw them once and then never draw them again, because I hated redrawing the colored hair. Um, so it's like some of these are like, it's I'm like, I don't know if I should show them or not, because like I, I didn't go through them and like, like, I, 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 I swear a lot. So, like, I, I don't know, like, what I can show and what I can't. Um, oh, I remember liking this one. This is a fun pose. This is when I started really getting into posing. Like, I started, like, this curve of the back isn't too bad. But, like, the, the arm anatomy, the hand anatomy is really bad. And the, the legs aren't great. But the the overall energy is not too bad. It's just it should be pushed more. It's a little bit too stoic. 
these side profiles suck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember this. This is a. I remember I had fun drawing that one. There's a few of them that I'm like. There's some that I think are really cool. Oh yo, fashion, fashion fog. This is what you can kind of tell now. Like I'm starting to to really like kind of work with it. I had a really big pastel aesthetic when I was in like high school for a bit. And like, you can tell that I'm starting to really get into um, like muscle structure of the body. I started to really focus in and hone in on like what, what like a more realistic torso would look like and a more realistic upper chest would look like and stuff like that, right? I started to really heavily focus on that. Um, like obviously there's stuff in it, like there's a lot. Okay, like I was gonna say some stuff. There's a lot that's wrong here, but like the, like for like I think this is tenth grade. For tenth grade, like this isn't the worst. Like it's not good, but it's not the worst. <laughs> you know, it's just me being annoying. Yo, Voltron. What? There's only a little bit of Voltron in here. I know exactly. Like I'm looking at it. Like I know exactly what piece that is, and I can't show it. Um. Yeah, I really loved Voltron. It was a, I had a huge Voltron phase when I was in high school. So there's a lot of like, <laughs> yeah, you too. There's a lot of like, um, like old Clance art in here. And like, I'm back, welcome back. Yo, is this Pidge? Let's go. I love her. I love this, like, such like, what year is this? 2016? This is such 20, like, not even 2014 fashion. So true. But I like, I was so like, I own these boots, by the way. I also owned these pants. Like, they don't fit yet. I own, this is an outfit I owned. This is an outfit I own. I love how like slanted Pidge is. It's like, she's kind of like tilting <laughs> off to the side. Um, I remember being really proud of this piece. I look back and I'm like, oh, it's not bad. Like the colors aren't too bad, but it's a bit strong. It's a bit heavy on the pants there. Um, ugh, it's so funny. I love, I love these. Love the pants. I used to own those. I remember they were so expensive and I was like, yeah. Oh, Fika. I remember this is another character, Mermaid Boy. He's a betta fish. This isn't my character. This is a, this is my best friend's character. Um, but Fika was a, was a mermaid boy. I remember really loving this one because I just really liked the way. It, well, honestly, the the anatomy for the mermaid tail itself is not bad. It's quite good. But, like the the rest is terrible. But like the, it's an all right attempt at a head looking upwards. I had the right idea with the chin. It's just that I didn't land it with the rest of the facial features. The the, the cranium should have continued here. The hair should have been farther back. But it's like, it's like I kind of I was I was like going like okay let's test like some, some like extra you know styles and whatever. But, you know, like, like really trying to challenge myself with head angles. Like, this isn't the worst. Like, it's pretty good for a first attempt, but it's not great. Oh, this one, too. Yo, Tim and Effie. This is when I started, like, doing more, like, harsh cell shading. So it's, like, a lot of, like, very, very harsh cell shading. And this teal that I use all the time now. Um, Effie and Tim, I love. I, I, like, I love these characters. They're, like... Um, yeah, so this is Effie now compared to like my first drawing of Effie. <laughs> like he's so sad. This is more accurate to what Effie's like nowadays. He's very, very chill. Kind of like this. He's kind of annoying. <laughs> he's like, he's just kind of like this, this dude who, who's like, he's, he's been dead for six years and he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna like, I'm, I'm big chilling now. He's like, he just wants to die. <laughs> like he didn't think that there was gonna be an after, he's like a ghost. He didn't think that there would be an afterlife, but there is, and he's just kind of stuck in it now. Oh, oh, I remember loving this one. Actually, this is not the worst. Not that bad, 2014, 2016, okay. I did a lot of work in 2016, I'm realizing now. I don't know why, I don't know why. Um, I remember I was playing with styles with this one. It was really trying to do something different. This kind of has become sort of what my chibi-ish style looks like. It's like, what do you mean? What do I mean by what do I mean? I say a lot of stuff and I don't know what I mean. 
the feet, right? It's so funny. <laughs> These shoes are so much. Um, but like this has kind of become, it's very close to what my chibi style is now, or like my secondary style, my really fast, my like really, really, oh, can't find what? I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know what I said. What did I say? <laughs> Sometimes I'll say stuff on stream and then I have no clue what I said, y'all. You're gonna have to, you have to bear with me. Um, but yeah, I remember I wanted to try like, cause I saw a lot of like skinny poses, like really skinny anatomy with like very like strong extremities to the body. I should have like, I should have what my current, I, I know I do, but I need to find one that's okay to show on stream. Um, like my current, I have, I should have a full body of somebody lying around somewhere. There you go. Here's Lunin. So like my current, my current like uh, secondary style is very much like the the very simplified anatomy in terms of like the body. There's no nose on the face. Um, it's very very like simplified extremities. Like that's my secondary style now. Like so like I definitely took inspiration from like this first test. And it's like a lot of people are like I can't find a style. I'm like then have more than one. <laughs> Nobody's telling you that you only have to have one. You know. There's lots of different styles that you can play with. <laughs> and it's like, whoops, sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of different things that you can play with when you're, uh... Oh, I remember loving this one. The thing with, like, even when I was younger, I love, like, intense amounts of... I love the, the little Foster the People shout out here. I still love Foster the People. Um, but I love, like, intense amounts of detail. Like, with anything. I was like, I would never make Cal look like this, but if I did, like, I would not be able to draw him over and over. <laughs> you can have more than one style in my brain. Q explosions. Yeah, bro. I work in, like, three different styles constantly. Oh, here's another Cal headshot. I, I, again, like, I drew these characters all the time. This is 10th grade. This was me. I started playing around with shading. When I hit high school, I started to take art a lot more seriously so like i had already gotten most of my basics down i was just refining them by this point and a lot of what i was doing was experimenting with style itself so it was basically just going like what do i like here what do i not like here right so this is very like hard this is a very much like a comic book style like it would be very like very cell shaded not a lot of like crazy intense anything especially for like indie comics because like it's just all one thing what's this one? Oh, i remember loving this one you can see my love of teeth starting to pop up. This nose sucks. Like, you can see my love of teeth starting to pop up. Like, I love drawing teeth. I still do. I adore drawing teeth. And, like, now I'm starting to add folds in my clothing. So, like, if you noticed before, a lot of my clothing didn't have folds. None of it did. What's this one? Oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> but, yeah, now you're starting to see, like, this This is not accurate. But, like, you can see a lot of, like, clothing folds starting to be added in. This teal I've just been using for years. Um... I had a really big steampunk phase as well. But like, you can see like there's a lot of clothing folds starting to be added. I'm starting to think more about how the skin folds, how muscles join, whatnot. Um, realism style as in cartoon me. Yeah, I mean, I, I have realism as a thing that I can do. I just don't like using it. Oh, here's another painted piece of mine. This is like kind of a, this is me getting a bit stronger with painting. But like, what happened here? What brush did I use here? Did I use the pencil by accident? I guess I did. Oh no, I used it. I used a textured. Okay. I used one of the Photoshop defaults. This, this is like so incorrect, but it was, here's me again, like playing around with like digital painting and whatnot. Ooh, here's a piece that I liked. Okay, so like this way is... I, so I didn't draw the background <laughs> before you say anything. I didn't draw the background. Um, the background was a photo that I took in Ottawa. Um, like you can't see them because they're blurred out. That's my mom and that's my grandma. Um, but like we went to Ottawa and I was like, this is kind of a fun, like what if we did like a... This is not my character either. It's my best friend's character. Um, I'm like, what, wouldn't it be fun if we kind of did like a root styled like fashion photo shoot kind of deal? So like I was like I put him in another outfit and I was like and I kind of drew him on this background because I wanted to kind of put him in a setting and I thought that that was fun. Um, I remember I did a lot of like I had a lot of these like fake clothing companies. So it was like I did a lot of fake like logos like the Robin's Hood, Altitude, Dollhouse, 
Like this was the, these were like um, clothing stores for this world, like the, um, like the, the animal people. That was what this was. And there was Quartz, Willow, and Junk House. If there was a- I- I kinda love Junk House. If there was a clothing store called Junk House, I feel like I would buy from there. <laughs> love the logos, thank you. This is like me in 10th grade, going like, yeah, I wanna make like fun little clothing logos. Um... Oh, I remember being so proud of this. Okay, so this was 2017. Um, we're in 2017 now. So like, I- I like, I'd found a pet- like a- like a fur brush. And I painted this and I went up to everywhere, everyone. And I was like, oh, here we up to? We're 2017 now. Um, I remember I drew this and I was like, I went up to everyone that I knew, everyone that I knew. And I was like, okay, how long do you think this took me? Right, Cause I just learned the majesty of using different brushes properly. Um, so they would go like, everyone would go like, I don't know, like two hours, three hours. And I was like, 45 minutes, which is not an exaggeration, by the way. This was 45 minutes. And like, now I can do this in like 10 minutes. But like, it was like, I was like, it's so fast. 45 minutes is so fast, <laughs> right? Oh, but that was really fast for me back when I was younger. Like, I'm very fast now. Um, like, I was, I was fast back then, but I'm even faster now, basically, with different uh, quality. Oh, Tim, hang on. Here's a character profile for Tim. My poor boy. Yeah, it's Tim. Oh, happy pride. Tim is a gender fluid character. Um, Tim is a, yeah, Chinese Kieran. He's this little, he's this little angry kid. And he was like, the thing with Tim was like, he was, I, I made him like ultra OP. And, but then I nerfed him by made him making him a kid. <laughs> I was like, he's like, he's like super, like, he's like this, the right hand of like the god of the afterlife. And like, he's just, he was enlisted at like age five, but now he just hates life and doesn't want to be here. <laughs> and he's this little kid and he's just, he's really like edgy and he's easily flustered. Yeah, introvert. He was just very like, he did not like being there. He was just like, he was just kind of sad, like low key sad all the time. But yeah, I wanted to make him like, like Effie is also crazy OP, but like he was, he's like dead, so you can't kill him. And like he was omniscient, like because like when you die, you like, it's like when you die, you can see the secrets of the universe. So he knows that he's just a drawing. He knows that everybody he knows is just a drawing, and he knows like exactly what's going on all the time. Um, but Effie hates it. And it was like, that was his whole character. It was like, he hated who he was. So like, he just <laughs> covered up with memes. <laughs> that was like Effie's full character. Um, but yeah, I always wanted to make their really OP characters really sad. Um, oh, Kubo. I love Kubo on the two strings. This was done with halftones. It kind of looks like a flip note drawing. The way that it, ooh, it does not show up nicely on stream. I'm so sorry. Um, but this was done in like halftones. <laughs> Um, cause I was like, I want to play with the halftone brushes. Uh, Kubo on the Two Strings is still my favorite American film. Like, of all time. I love Kubo on the Two Strings. Um, we're starting to get into the more fleshed out stuff. This is still 2017, though. We're getting to the end of 2017, though. Um, yeah. This is a lineless. I loved this one. This is Tim again. Tim at a ramen shop. He's with the, a gargoyle, crocodile kind of guy. I remember being really proud of how I did this tale. I had a lot of really strong work. I think I was talking about it with my best friend the other day and she was like kind of in the era of like 2016, 2017, kind of that era. I had a lot of really, really strong work. And like, I, I agree, like, especially at like, I, it was a lot of me playing around. It was a lot of me pushing myself and like going like, okay, I want to create a work that I think um, would both enhance my skills, but would also just be fun to do. Comparing this to my demon unicorns. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how like a decade can change everything. Um. Ooh, that's a not, not a bad one. This is, I don't remember what year this was. This is a little bit later. I remember I did this for an assignment. Um, this was, I think this was grade 11. Yeah, so still like kind of in the 2017-ish era. Um, yeah, so like I did this for a psychology class 
And it was supposed to be for like a minute. Yes, this was grade 10. Grade 10? This is grade 10. Yes, this was grade 10. So this was grade 10 psychology. No. When could we take Anthro? Is that grade 11? That was grade 11. So in grade 11, I found like a... In grade 11, we had to do like a mini game thing. And I was like, okay, um, what are we going to do? So it was going to be like we had to... Everybody had to solve a puzzle without talking. So everybody just had to be have like body language and points and we weren't allowed to speak. Right? Um, this track sounds like Stranger Things. Yeah, I'm just playing Synthwave. I love me some good Synthwave. Um, little chicken, right? Everybody loved... There was a friend of mine. She loved this frog. Like, she she was like, can I keep this frog, please? And I'm like, yeah, it's all yours. So she cut up the... Because they were. it was like one big sheet and it was cut up. And everybody had to like place the puzzle. They had like 10 minutes to do it. Um, she loved this frog. I was like, I was like, if you want to just keep a card, like take it. Because I'm not going to bring it home. So she kept the frog. Um, I also really like this deer character. I don't know why I didn't keep this character. This character's design is actually pretty sick. It kind of goes hard. This this trio right here, the two little mice. I had to put Cal in there because I had to. Um, but this, like, these mice are so cool. This dragon centaur is really sick, too, actually. Like, these designs are pretty sick. Like, they're not that. Like, they're pretty sick. I keep the frog, too, yeah. I remember I really loved this one. So we're re revisiting the... Happy Pride Month, y'all. <laughs> revisiting the dancing in steampunk kind of aesthetic. That's like, this is when I started to get really into it. Like I loved fashion, but now I'm really getting into fashion shots. Um, how long have I been drawing? I've been drawing for my entire life. So we've gone back. <laughs> I came out of the womb holding a pencil in my hand, um, but we, we started at 2006. So we started with my drawings back in 2006. Um, but yeah, so like this was like, it's really funny. Like the first time you see these two is in like that, that comic that I did back in like 2014, 2014, 2015. No? Yeah, 2014-ish is when I did that comic. And now they're here. It's like, this is 2018. We're in 2018 now. Um, so like, it's like, I'd been drawing them for years. Like these guys are like, I've had these two boys for years and years. Um, I still draw, like, of all of the characters, the ones that I still draw the most are Tim and Cal, like, this fox boy, and then the the other kid that I said was just, like, crazy OP. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, it's like the... I've just had them for a really long time. This is a cute mirror selfie. I remember really liking this one. You can see me kind of really getting into muscle structure. I think I used a reference for this one. I don't remember. No, this is before I started using a lot more references. So this is off the top of my head. Um, but I think I used references for the muscles itself. Um, the facial anatomy. You can see me getting more stylized, but also more incorrect, which I think is kind of funny. Um, so it's like, you can see me kind of starting to see if this is correct. This phone would be straight up. Can't deal with this. <laughs> um, Happy Pride Month, y'all. Um, but, yeah. Oh, shoot. This comic rules and I can't show it. <laughs> There's another comic in here that I'm like, yo, this comic was so sick. And I still love the way that I did it. But I can't show it. Like, I can't. It's, it's too violent. <laughs> Who's my favorite OC so far? It's, it's hard to pick who my favorite characters are. Like, I have a lot of my current ones. Like, my D&D characters right now, I have Kingsley, I have Korn, I have Caspian. And then there's, like, my, my webcomic characters. I have Grayson, I have Moe, Courtney, Lex. And then, like, my, my classics, my, like, the ones I've had for years and years, Div, Cal, Tim, Effie. Like, I just, like, like if I had to... Like, I don't, I don't have any that I can... I don't have any that I can pick. I love all my kids. Um... I remember I loved this one. This was my first time trying water. Um, so this was for Mermaid. I remember way back when, uh, 2018. Um, this is my first time trying out water and like trying to make that ripple effect a bit differently. This, this back, this is actually not bad. This back profile is not that bad. The 7-8 is not the worst. 
this nose is incorrect, but the way the mouth and the eye is, it's not the worst. These back muscles are terrible, though. <laughs> um, oh, cows, toe beans. Um, this chest isn't too bad either. This entire torso isn't too bad. The arms are pretty incorrect, but the torso is not the worst. The neck is incorrect, too, but that's fine. I wish I could draw like you, it's so good. This is my old art. This is art from when I was a kid. So this is 2018, this is uh, four years ago. So I don't draw like this anymore. Ooh, yes. Okay, so this was, a, a, I need to redraw this again. So this was a tradition that I had for a bit. So I drew this first one. This was the this was the very, very first drawing of Cal. Um, back in 2015 is when I drew him. And then 2018, I was like, why don't I redraw this piece? Cause I can do a lot better now. And it is better. It is better, but it's not amazing. <laughs> oh, here's when I really started playing with styles. This drawing rules. This still rules. This like ultra simplification, like almost no shading. This still rules. Like to this day, I still love this one. The lines are so slick. The style is so clean. It's just, it's a lot of fun. This one's a lot of fun. This one and this one where I was really playing with the styles. This one also rules. The style is sick. It's like, it was me like really going like, I'm gonna really do something outside of what I usually do. And I was like, I wanna like really mess around and do something different. So if you ever wanna, if you're ever kind of in a rut, just do something completely different. Um, I remember really liking this one too. This is me again, kind of breaking the rules of what I normally would do with my paintings. And like, this isn't that bad. It's kind of like, it, like, I do like this expression. I think it's kind of fun. Um, but I wish that the, the rest of the head matched the <laughs> matched the perspective, you know. Um, but it was me just kind of going like, Wah, whatever, you know. Yo, happy Pride 2018. <laughs> happy Pride. It's 2022 now, but happy Pride. Happy Pride, everyone. Happy Pride. Um, this is... We love to see it. We love to see it. I remember drawing this back in 2018. This was a lot of fun. Um... We love to see it. Um, ooh, I remember loving this one. Uh, this is when I stopped putting the years on my work, so I want to say this is 20... This is still probably 2018. Um, this is when I started to get into my neon phase, so I started really loving neons. Like, neon... Um, neon colors, like the fashion of like cyberpunk and tech wear and all that. I started like rave culture. I started getting really into that. So like there was a lot, of, there was a point where like half of my paintings were all just neons. Happy Pride of having an identity crisis felt. Um. Ooh, anybody say Full Metal? I love Full Metal Alchemist. Pride was my favorite character. I love this. This isn't too bad. Like the anatomy on the nose is kind of whack, but like the painting itself isn't the worst. I love Full Metal. Full Metal is just so good. Like Full Metal is my favorite anime. Um, you like using vibrant action colors? Valid. Yep. Here's more neons. So like completely like flat colored. I decided to use just just an analogous. So I wanted to use only neon colors this still kind of rules not gonna lie like there's some stuff i would change obviously but like this is this still kind of rules like the flatness of it it's very very modern illustrator oh there's a piece that i really liked in here hang on this one i love this piece i love this piece when i first did it like the like atreus was really fun here i like the way i did tim oh wait <laughs> well, we'll block that off again. Um, but like the, like this, uh, like Pride, obviously, is a lot of fun. Effie. I love God of War. So like Atreus, like I was like, I had to put this in. I was like some of my favorite kids that I had drawn at the time. I was like, yeah, I'll draw them again. It's so cool. Thank you. Yeah, these are, we're starting to get up closer to how my work actually looks. Here's another drawing of Pride. There's a drawing of Ed in here. Yeah, Ed, Edward Elric. Yo. I love Full Metal. <laughs> There's also Ling in here. Yeah, there he is, bro. Putting him in the slides. Fashion. Fashion. Oh, Hayate. <laughs> Riza's dog. I forgot that I drew Hayate. 
<laughs> Baby, this is still an immaculate try. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is, now we're in late high school. So we're in tw 12th grade now, so this is around 2018-2019. Oh, I remember this one. I did this just for a story highlight on my Instagram. <laughs> it's kind of cute, but I did it only for a story highlight. Um... This piece is called I Have Two Moods. <laughs> I think I did this in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I have two moods, not JPEG. Yeah, I failed. Same, bro. Same, Tim, actually. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to get into more refined stuff. So it's like we're... I remember doing this one. It was like, I'm like, what if I... This is 2018, 2018... Oh, June, July. Oh, this is August 29th. So this was like, I remember I drew this and then I kind of sat back and I looked at it and I hated it. <laughs> like I drew it and then I, I kind of looked back and I was like, wait, this is very, very much like Disney, like classic Disney rendering. And I was like, I hated that because I, I have a vendetta against Disney. I've had this vendetta for a very long time. So I was like, I like, I drew it and I was like, man, Dang it! <laughs> so like I kind of scrapped it. Now that I look back, it's not that bad. Like it's still not great, um, but it's not the worst. Like there's too many folds in this hoodie. There's too many folds in the jacket. The way that it's colored is a bit rough. It's not the worst though. Ooh, okay. So this was the first render that I did trying to figure out a square brush. So this was me learning how to digitally render with a square brush. And I, I switched working from, cause for the longest time I did all of my rendering with the, with the hard round. Um, if you don't know, if you've never tried rendering, like doing digital painting with any other types of brushes, you should very rarely use a round brush. Um, usually a square brush or like a, a sharp edged brush tends to look a lot nicer. Um, using airbrushes should be used cautiously and like briefly. They shouldn't be used the entire time, right? Because then it'll end up making the painting look very, very like way too soft and it ends up making it look really unnatural. Um, so you just, you have to be, you have to be very cautious. But I remember this was the first time, A, the first time that I used a square brush, B, the second, the first time that I really started to work with bounce lighting. I still like the way I rendered this actually, the way that I did the sleeves here. Um, yeah, I remember doing this at a, I wasn't at home. I was at some, I was at my cousin's house in the middle of the night and I wasn't using my, I had a Cintiq by this point, um, but I was using my Intuos because I wasn't at home. <clears throat> and I was like, I'm not used to rendering like this. <laughs> Yo, the Dragon Prince. <laughs> well, if I do this, nope. Okay, so it's just gonna do that then. Okay. Yeah, I remember, I really liked the Dragon Prince. I, I watched like one season. <laughs> I never continued, I have no clue why. I think it just took too long for me to, for the second season to come out or something. Oh, but actually we can do this. So these are the yearbook sketches. Um, this was me um, planning out the cover for the yearbook. So yes, I did illustrate my yearbook's cover. Um, but we can get to that. It's probably going to be in here somewhere. Um, but... Yeah, so I remember we... It, the whole yearbook was based off of, like, arcade stuff. And I was like, our, our mascot was a dog. So I was like, okay, why don't I take the, the bulldog, our school's bulldog, and we'll you know, put him in an arcade. So I was like, let's put our, let's put my dog in an arcade, you know? <laughs> I thought that, that was kind of fun. We ended up not using that design. We used a completely different one because it had to be scrapped. This is a fun piece. We had to, we had to, I think I, I took a picture of my hands doing that. I took a picture of one of my hands doing this and then I like referenced it and then I just flipped it and used it twice. Um, we had to take an artist that we liked, um, and draw a piece based off of one of the seven deadly sins in their art style. So I chose this one artist, I don't remember her name, um, but I chose Pride, so I used this one. I did two of them, but I can't show the other one. 
<laughs> I'm just saying right now I can't show the other one. Yo, Pokemon comic. Let's go. So here's more of my current. <laughs> this dates this. <laughs> This, this, the joke that I use in this dates this comic so much. <laughs> oh, there's a swear word in there. But, like, it's like. Honestly, this isn't that bad. Like, the line work's not bad. I definitely. Because I, I definitely color picked from. This is like Pokemon Let's Go. But, like, I definitely color picked from Trace's artwork. So, it's like the color balance is great. Um, but. I named him, I named him Reed, because I could not have this kid be named Trace. I could not have this kid be named Trace. There was no way. <laughs> there was no way I was going to be able to do that. Have fun. See you back later. Oh, and we'll revisit this piece, too. No, not this one. It was this one. There you go. Um, this piece was a portfolio piece. I did this illustration for, pause for a check. I did this illustration to get into college. Um, this was my college. This is a piece that I used to get into college. <laughs> um, again, it was a 75 hour one. I think there's like, there's little bits of it that I still like. I do like this little corner. I do like the, I do like the, the pin board in the back. I used to really, actually this rendering isn't too bad. This rendering is also not too bad. This lighting is actually kind of sick. But the there's a lot of, like, this anatomy is really wrong. And, like, there's a lot of stuff that's incorrect. But I remember just having a lot of fun with it. Like, it took so long. And then when I finished it, I was like, this is the one, boys. <laughs> I was like, we got this. This is so sick. Um. Oh! So it returns. So, you know how I said, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to do this one. I did it in 2015. And in 2018, I redid this one. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. seven months later, I drew this one. So if you're wondering how fast my growth was <laughs> at one point, so it's like it went from this to like this, and like this is still not great, and I can totally redo this now and it'll look a lot better. But like the the style progression is really funny. I was like I I started to work a lot more muted, so I stopped being very saturated. I love my muted colors. I still work very muted nowadays. Like I prefer muted colors over really sat highly saturated pieces. Um, but yeah, there we go. That was revisited there. There's a lot of this that I can't show. Oh, anybody like Mother 3 and Earthbound? <laughs> so I was like, this was a, a painting test. So I wanted to test how I would paint, how I would stylize things. Um, there's a lot of mother, mother art coming up. I was also getting back into Smash Bros. So there was a lot of like the... These are the characters that I main in Smash Bros, by the way. If you wonder who I play in Smash Bros, <laughs> I play all these guys. <laughs> because I like the small ones that are fast that hit hard. That's why I like these guys. They, they can be launched, but like, they're coming back. Like Kirby, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Kirby. I'm a dirty Kirby main, I'm sorry. But like the, like I played, like after Kirby, it was Lucas that I played all the time. It was Kirby, Lucas, and Ness. And then interchangeably, Villager and Toon Link. But like I, I remember doing this one just cause like, I was like, I love draw fashion. Kirby in a hat, I know. He's so good. <laughs> it's like Yo-Yo Kirby. <laughs> I gave him the pink camo, camo for real. He played Luigi and Jigglypuff, valid. That could be dope. He do be pretty dope. Oh, we got seven minutes left. <laughs> ah, another mini stupid joke. <laughs> this expression rules. <laughs> this is 2019. I know for a fact this is 2019. There's no, there's no numbers on it, but it's recent enough that I know. Um... This expression rules. I've drawn this expression recently. <laughs> um, PK Chungus. This is the dumbest joke. The dumbest joke. Yo. Look at the file name. Trans is trans rights. Let's go. He's so right. He's so correct. 
I think this is when I started to use very, very thick line work. So if you've noticed, like previously, my line work has always been really, really thin. This is when I started to use really chunky, thick black line work. Because I was like, I've been using thin line work for so long. And I was like, I got to try something new. Here's another one. Here's me. There's the very first illustration of Gremlin Jessie. If you've never wondered where she came from, here she is. <laughs> this is the very first drawing of Gremlin Jessie. Um... But yeah, no, I've, I, this is when I started to use very, very chunky, strong line work. I have a lot of really chunky, strong line work. This is a compilation when I had my line work back in high school ruled. Like, I don't know what changed, but like this line work is so like, it was so full of life. And it was so fun. And now I'm just kind of like, well, my line work's okay now. But like this line work ruled back when I was a kid. Like, I was like, I love this. Oh, this is a style test. I got really into... Uh, Jorge Jimenez, one of the, he was a DC artist, and I took his style of rendering hair, and I was like, I did a style study off of his work. I remember really liking this. The proportions are so off, but I remember really liking this one. The Doberman's not bad, but Tim himself was kind of rough. Um, yeah. Oh, anybody see Starlight Brigade? You know, the, the music video, of Tupperware Remix Party, featuring Dan Avedon? The song rules. I don't care what any of you say. <laughs> and the animation was so sick. I was like, I have to draw something for it. Oh, such a good song. This is a really good thing as well. This is not too bad. I do love the line work on this still. Again, like my line work in high school was just so good. Um, spooky. So this is like me going like the three things that I draw all the time. <laughs> Spooky, cute, and attractive. That's all I do. This Lucas is so cute. This Lucas is so cute. Like, this this sweater rules. The the, the pants are kind of whack, but the sweater rules. There's Div now. And this is a really funky monster. This is like the every, every indie horror monster. Uh. There's another really cool monster in here. I don't know if I should show it. Probably won't. Oh! Lol. Okay, so this was a... <laughs> so I drew this for my dad's 50th birthday, I remember. And it was printed on a cake. So, like, they were like, they were like, Jess, you gotta draw a thing for your father's 50th birthday. And I was like, okay. So he's like, I was like, what are some things that my father really likes? So my dad's favorite Pokemon's Magikarp. My dad, like, mains Daisy in everything. Like, I mean everything my, daddy ma my dad mains in. Like, it's like Mario Kart, he plays Daisy. Smash, he plays Daisy. <laughs> I'm talking like everything he plays Daisy. Mario Strikers, he played Daisy, right? It's like he loved Daisy. So it's like every every game he would play Daisy. There's my dad. And then Corb. I don't remember why I put Corb in there. But I think he had started mating Corb in Smash. But like, like everything my dad mains was Kirby. It's like... wish my dad played video games. My dad is the one who introduced me to video games. Ooh! Ooh, y'all wing canvas people! Only the wing canvas OGs know this one! Um, this is a piece I did for wing canvas. Um, we're in the era where I've started working for wing canvas. So 2019 is when I started working for wing canvas. Um, and this piece I remember we did for like a like an all mediums all like all mediums all practices gallery and Faye was like Jesse you should like submit some stuff and I was like well, okay so <laughs> I remember I named this one something really really long and then they were like Jesse you think you could like shorten the name of this piece <laughs> I wanted it to be really long for the meme um but like obviously like you know um so instead I called it digital art is easy they said it'd be fun they said it's just like this is what I looked like at the studio. Like this is what I looked like at the physical studio. My hair used to be red and or pink and blue. Up oh, here's my college stuff. There's an Atreus. Oh, Cyberpunk Atreus. Yeah, this design is sick. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Cyberpunk Atreus. This design is still sick. Not gonna lie, that ball rules. <laughs> 
man. I remember I wanted to do a whole big God of War cyberpunk line. Like, I'm a huge sci-fi person. So it was like, I really wanted to do more cyberpunk Atreus. And I never got to it. Um, ooh. This track is super dramatic, true. This piece I did in college. I remember loving this piece. I called it The Prophet. And we had to It was basically just we had to paint a big scene. That was it. We had to just render out and paint a big scene. I did this one in eight hours, I think. It was an eight-hour piece. Um, I still like... Like, I like the way I did the teeth. I like the way I did the folds of this skin. The background sucks. This whole background sucks. But this... What? Stop. But this this piece in particular is great. Like, I do, I do like this monster a lot. I should use him again. That was a lot of fun. Um, yo, there's Curb with a Vape here. <laughs> I think I used this as like a, <laughs> I think I used that as a profile picture once. Yo, Kirby with no brim. That was what it was. Um, yeah. And now we're just starting to get into current art. There's a lot of Hunter Hunter. It's like modern Kilua. I started to get into Hunter x Hunter here, so it's like, now you can see my style shifting again. Because I'm starting to get, like, into the anime once again. There's a Kurapika right here. That I did a while ago. This is like my old, old, um, Hunter x Hunter art. Like, I used to post it. Congrats to all Hunter x Hunter fans on their, their, on the manga coming back. Here's a Kurapika and Art Nouveau. I remember doing this for the, for the studio. We're starting to get it. This is 2020 now. 2020, 2021. Um, oh, and then the Cyberpunk AU. So I did a Cyberpunk Hunter Hunter AU. Like, I took their outfits and just cyberpunk fied them. I just went like, yeah. We're gonna, like, go crazy. I do like this concept. With the, the nails being a glowing thing. And then I did, like, the full illustration of the two of them. I still like this illustration. I do. Like, the, the lines could have been better, but I do like this illustration. Like, the designs were strong. And then big character lineups. So this was me designing the outfits themselves. Kind of trying to keep the original outfit while, like, keeping the, the integrity of the original outfit while, like, making it new. You know, that kind of deal. Ugh, Hunter Hunter. And then this was for Year of the Ox 2021. This illustration actually rules, not gonna lie. <laughs> this still rules. I do like this this expression rules and the, the rendering rules. And then the digital print, like a digital. This is a, a Christmas one I remember liking doing. This is when I started doing softer pupils. I still do that now. Like I have like softer pupils whenever I draw characters. Ooh. I remember drawing this. I love this piece. I still really love this piece. It was like... I love the way I did the mirror. With the steam dripping down and like... Some of the... Some of the condensation dripping. This was when I first used... This was my test with a CSP. My, this was my very first CSP test. Um, and it was like using the perspective rulers and trying to figure that out. So this was my very first time using CSP's rulers. So yeah, this is 2021 now. So I've still kept the years in there, but not the days. So this is now 2021. Oh, Lunar New Year 2021. I remember this was in... Oof. I want to say this one took me an hour. So this was an hour long speed paint. Something like that. Ah, Tim's redesign. That was when I, I went and redesigned his scythe. His scythe is named Death Metal because I think it's funny. <laughs> Yo, Omori! Let's go. I love this game. I played this game in three days. On release, I played it really quick. I remember this piece got a lot of likes on Twitter. Because I liked the manic expression. <laughs> yeah, it's we're going a bit over time. <laughs> we're going a little bit over time here. Yeah, I do just want to show a couple things off from uni now. Yep, so these ones, now we're into the show that shall not be named. So this Archie, there's a lot of like some of the, this is when I started working for a show that shall not be named. So there's like stuff with Archibald, there's Socks, my favorite. But yeah, you, you can see me getting better at portraits. It's like now I've gotten a lot stronger with 
digital portrait. So this is now, this is still 2021, but it's late 2021. This is 2022, I believe. No, still 21? Okay. <laughs> and this is another recent one. This one is 2022. And now the most recent thing in my JPEGs folder is Giga Chad Professor Turo from the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So with that being said, everyone, thank you so much for joining. <laughs> and that's going to be the end of stream for today. Thank you so, so much for joining everyone. Um, once again, um, it's, thank you. Like, thank you for popping in. There's been, there's a crazy amount of you today. Um, <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna do some mentions by the end of this stream, so if you didn't know, um, we're not just, just a YouTube channel, we're also an art school, so if you'd like to check out the classes that we offer, I am one of the instructors, summer camp is coming up, I'm gonna be teaching the, uh, teen intensives, so I'll be teaching more intense classes, I'll be teaching figure drawing and comic art, I believe, it's either comic art or character design, um, I think, no, I think I'm teaching comic art, um, so that's what's coming up. Um, there's no JPEGs today <laughs> because there's no illustration that I've done. Um, but if you'd like to check out the, um, the Patreon, the Patreon is where we offer our working files. It's going to be changing soon though. And JPEGs are usually offered on our discords. If you'd like to join the discord, uh, be sure to pop in on there. We've got like a bunch of other art nerds you can interact with. Sometimes I'm there too. Um, so I'll, I'll be there sometimes. Um, but yeah thank you so so much for joining everyone thank you for um thank you for joining me today next week we are going to be doing a pokemon request stream so if you want to you know pop in request some pokemon for me to draw on stream pop in say hi i'll be here um but yeah thank you so so much for joining everyone i'll see y'all next week au revoir bye bye